What's up, everybody? It's Eong here with an update on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Not too long ago, Square Enix hosted a live stream on Twitch showing a bunch of new gameplay footage of the game. In this video, I'll provide a brief summary of the live stream and show you all the footage that was unveiled. The live stream began with a showcase of a live feature trailer for Mankind Divided titled The Mechanic Apertheid. The acting's pretty meh and cheesy on occasions, but it's still a pretty cool trailer, so check it out. How did we get here? Technology is advancing at a phenomenal rate. Artificial eyes to cybernetic limbs. The promise of a better future. We now have the choice to free ourselves from any kind of limitation. Strength, power, speed. Now I focus on what really matters. Have these augmentations really been there tested? There are people who say that what is happening is unnatural, that we're playing God. But people were scared of electricity. And where would the world be without what that? What happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Diseases or viruses that could wipe out the human race. Seeing the terror of the witness world. This kind of madness has gripped the mechanically augmented people. Nine million deaths confirmed and counting. This is an attack on humanity and the universal values that we share. These people were hacked. They had no control. What is the appropriate response? And can we actually protect ourselves from this happening again? I have no idea what happened. I would never... You tried to kill me. At what point will governments consider the idea of segregation for all our sakes? We can be politically correct or we can be foolish, but it's going to get worse and worse. The Czech Republic adds its voice to a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. We have citizens. no Reports choice. Reports of severe shortages of the drug neuropazine required to inhibit the rejection of augmentations. And we will fight for our God-given rights to defend our will. In sign of growing anti-augmentation sentiment, thousands of It doesn't matter how many idiots you get out there on the street. We will not relinquish our limbs. Do you understand? What is happening on this planet is a mass fear mongering and the mainstream media pushing this narrative. The officer suffered severe facial Incident after incident after You need incident. to be afraid because they are coming for you. We will not be made slaves to corporations. We will rise up. To them, we are the enemy. Have you seen what your kind are doing? My kind? You sound just like them. We've come to a tipping point. We can't live like this anymore. This violence is completely out of control. We're always being paid for this corporate militant What do they have planned for us? Why are they building concentration camps? What's going on out there? Reports of multiple fatalities. There's only one way to deal with these bloodthirsty fanatics. A lot of people die. Now you want to take away our freedom? You will pay for it in blood. Multiple detonations looks like car bombs. The Augmented Rights Coalition denies responsibility. Mm -hmm. The Segregation Act has been passed into law, effective immediately. Augmented persons are being asked to move to safe and secure segregated districts. I don't want them to take me. We are still your neighbors. Your brothers. Your sisters. Who love us. We lost everything. Our dreams. Our innocence! Where are you taking her? Where are you taking her? Our humanity. Following this footage, there was talk about fleshing out the lore of Deus Ex through what they're calling Deus Ex Universe, which aims to tell stories that they couldn't fit in the game through other mediums. For example, it was hinted that there will be a graphic novel that tells the story of how Adam Jensen started to work at Task Force 29, along with a novel that focuses on what happened to Adam Jensen after the events of Human Revolution. There was also talk about bridging the gap between fiction and reality and bringing the world of Deus Ex into the real world world through things like fashion clothing inspired by the art of Deus Ex and whatnot, which is all coming in the future. Then, the livestream finally dived into the gaming aspects of things, starting with the reveal of a mobile game called Deus Ex Go, which, um, well, just, uh, see for yourself.
So nothing terribly compelling for the core Deus Ex fans, but if you're into mobile gaming, there you go. This was then followed by the unveiling of a brand new arcade-style game mode for Mankind Divided called Breach. Check it out. At the Palisade Bank Corporation, we know what top secret means. Your company's files contain valuable proprietary information worth far more than gold. We can help you protect it. Our state-of-the-art Blade server farms offer unparalleled security in a world that's teeming with uncertainty. Safeguarded by the most advanced physical and digital security systems in the world, the data you store at the Palisade Corporation will remain hands out reach of those who seek to slander your slander your slander your co corporate interest. for years they thought their secrets were safe and they were right until now rippers protecting institutions that seek to hold us back profiting while the majority get left behind is the palisade's number one priority ours is to breach the blades overhyped to digital defenses and expose the truth fire up your neural subnet kits and join the fight When you're in the breach, the virtual reality environment will be your playground, and your digital avatar your tool of extraction. Your primary targets are data towers, but as you progress through the system, server nodes will bring about new objectives to master. Data extraction, enemy elimination, fragment collection. These will allow you to delve deeper into the network. Extract the data, escape the server, expose the truth. As you progress, don't be surprised if mysteries cross your path. The world is a dark place, and people often turn to rippers to dig for answers. These people had a daughter who died under mysterious circumstances. They believe a pharmaceutical corporation is involved, and information you unlock on their Salai servers could contain the truth they need. All you have to do is locate the data and exit the server without being destroyed. No problem, right? Not necessarily. The AI core that operates the Palisade servers has security in place. Sentries, drones, turrets, and powerful prime defense units. All programmed to keep that precious data locked away. They'll quickly turn hostile against any intruder they find. But when it comes to virtual warfare, being on the cutting edge is just one way we reverse stay ahead. Load your avatars with an arsenal of weapons to combat the virtual defenses. Use the credits you earn from successful raids to unlock new models. If a particular loadout wears out its welcome, dismantle the unwanted weapons into parts and use them to upgrade your favorites. Extracting data won't be easy, but as you gain experience, you'll earn praxis points, which can be used to unlock new abilities or improve skills you already have. Your NSN avatar can be equipped with a variety of virtual augmentations that can aid you in accomplishing your goals. But it has limited memory space, so finding the right balance of skills is crucial to leaving the breach with your avatar intact. Not really interested in taking down corrupt mega corporations from within? Fine. Then compete in challenges against your fellow Rippers. Send them your high score. If they can't beat it, you're awarded extra credits. You've motivated others by showing off your skills. But if it turns out you're a cocky failure, you get nothing in return. Of course, if you're really feeling full of yourself, you can also infect the server with modifiers. They'll increase the difficulty of the challenge, offering a more substantial reward, or give you temporary advantages by changing the rules if you're in a tricky spot. The world is full of conspiracy trippers, and the blades hold the deepest secrets. No matter your motivation, your contribution will further our cause. Join the fight. Extract the data. Expose the truth. Buona fortuna, Reapers.
So as it turns out, that April Fool's video that they posted wasn't completely a joke after all. A couple of things to note about Breach. One, it's not a separate game. It's a game mode that comes free with Mankind Divided. Think of it like the VR training missions from Metal Gear Solid. Just some neat extra content. Not gonna lie, it actually looks pretty damn fun. According to the developers, it features its own story arc, its own characters, and of course, its own art style. You'll also be able to compete with other friends for leaderboards and challenges, and the game mode will receive extra content after launch. Moving on, the livestream finally showed us what we're really looking forward to, new gameplay footage of the core game. And we got plenty of that. Check it out. <clears throat> Hold on. Hey, you sound like shit. How you feeling? A little sore, but uh, be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so gotta get checked out. But if you want to meet or what? No, no, no. I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right, I will. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday, Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Adam Jensen was caught in a terrorist attack. An hour, 30 hours later, and we wake up in his apartment. Adam Jensen tries to recollect himself. He seems like he has some problems with his augmentations, and now he needs to take care of that. The thing is that in the world of Mankind Divided in 2029, two years after Human Revolution, and there are a lot of problems in society, a lot of division, a lot of tension, and a lot of companies like the Limb Clinics that are focusing on transhumanist technologies are going bankrupt. And now Adam Jensen will have to rely on some underground stuff. So Adam now is fresh, he smells good, he's clean, he's almost ready to go into his new adventure. But before, we're going to look around a little bit his apartment. And through the SX style, there are plenty of things to discover. There are a lot of readables, pocket secretaries, ebooks, computers, where we can learn about Adam Jensen's motivation, the organization he's working for the state of the world. There's also a lot of emails that he can read, some of his colleagues at Task Force 29 asking him to go see them, etc, etc. We're not going to show all of the details today in the apartment, but for instance, uh, here we can go onto the television, we can watch the news, or you can even call back your old boss David Sarif, and that can unleash a totally optional mission that is not part of the critical path experience. But for today, we're going to focus on the main adventure and go out in the open. Miller, it's Jensen. 
It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. So it seems Jensen's friend Vaclav Kohler has some problem with local mobsters. We're going to go shortly to see what's going on there. But in the meantime, we're going to look a little bit at the city. Here we're still in the apartment complex where Adam Jensen lives. Of course, we can explore all the apartments and discover loot, discover story about a lot of things. Now we're in the city hub itself. We're in the poor district of Prague and there's a lot of augmented people living in that district. As you can see, there are a lot of police forces looking around and making sure that everybody's staying in check. There's a lot of paranoia, there's a lot of tension. License, permit, voucher, document of authority, temporary pass, travel coupon, and or certificate of authenticity. Good old days, we'd just ask for ID. Good old days are gone. Hm, haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. And the tools to do it, obviously. Go on through. Fortunately, Adam Jensen has his papers in order but he's still an augmented citizen and there's no discrimination on that end like police are going to check everything and make sure that you're complying to what's needed because in this world police are just looking for an excuse to send you to some ghettos here we can see the metro station it's another example where the uh, segregation is institutionalized we have the natural line and also we have the uh. augmented line to take the subway if you take the line for the naturals, chances are that the police are going to ask your papers and they're going to arrest you. But if you use the line for augmented citizen, you'll be able to breeze your way through and get to the district you want to go without being bothered. And through the SX fashion, you can talk to all the characters in the world. You can learn more about their own stories, about some of the things happening in the world. You can also get some hints about certain places, etc. So it's up to you to discover all these things. Now we're getting close to our friend Vaclav Kohler and we're going to show you some of the options to get to him. There are always more than one way to get Don't where we want to go. There's a blockade here, let's see what it is. Doc Lari, Doc Lari, show me latest papers, otherwise you cannot go through here. I know the drill. For the sake of this demo, we just shortened this conversation. But basically, what you discover is that those police officers want you to pay some fee to go around and, and get to your destination. As you go and explore that side mission, depending on how you play, it can be a very short uh, story that can last maybe 10, 15 minutes. But you can dig deeper and deeper and end up into a story that can spawn for over an hour and you discover that those fake police officers are extorting uh, augmented people that are out of hope. And you'll be able to make a difference. We're going to look at the right side of the police blockade and it seems like there's another path so let's explore it to see what it is i would have found him street is off limits or your buck private function all businesses are temporarily closed it seems that Where those guys are the the valley gangsters our friend uh, kohler was talking about so since we don't want to create chaos here today we're going to look for another option 
In Mankind Divided, we really wanted to expand on the exploration aspect of the game, and verticality is a big part of it. And as you see here, there's an apartment upstairs with a flickering light, and there's probably a way to get there and also to go around the blockades that we've seen and maybe get to our friend without disrupting the peace in the city. That's an example on how we can exploit uh, the verticality. There are objects in the world that we can interact with and now we're able to reach higher ground. Depending, however, of the augmentations that you have, you might be able to get there without the use of the environment. So, depending on how you build your Adam Jensen, how you decide to exploit his capabilities, you'll be able to get in places in different ways or not at all. As you can see here, something happened and that is a story that we're not going to fully explore today. But as you play the game, you'll be able to understand what happened with those people. Hacking is back. Like in Human Revolution, you have to Anomaly go from detected. one end of the network to the Trace other end. Initiated. But this time around, security systems have more protections that you have to overcome, like booby traps. But also as a player, you're going to have more Access softwares granted. to use to try to circumvent the challenges. I can tell you that this time around the gameplay is going to be more tactical than it was in the last game. So it's going to require a bit more skills to hack uh, some of those networks. But let's continue to our friend Kohler. And yes, Adam Jensen loves air vents. Exploring all around and all in the little corners of the map is really important because you can find a lot of loot, a lot of secret things. And here, for example, we have a pocket secretary. We're not going to open it today, but it's just to show you that those little devices have codes, passwords, things like that, that can allow you to get to secret places that otherwise would be more difficult to reach. So now we have passed our friends the Davali mobsters and also we passed around the police blockade and now we're getting close to our objective. This is the Time Machine, it's a book shop that is owned by Vaclav Kohler and now his Davali friends are trying to find him. The thing is that he's hiding uh, somewhere in his building and uh, now they're trashing the place, shooting everywhere, trying to make him come out of his hiding because apparently he owes them money. This is the smart vision. You can see the weapons enemies carry, the loot they have, if they have pocket secretaries, the kind of ammo they have. So it can be really interesting if you're the kind of tactical player to, to know which ones are more interesting to take down or not, depending on your playstyle. So today we're not going to pass through the main door because we don't want to start the fight right away. We're going to stealth our way around with cloaking. I was talking about verticality, so it means that when you fall from higher ground you make more noise and enemies can hear the noise you're producing. So even if you're using like here the cloaking, even if they don't see you, they will hear you. So it can be a very good idea to combine different augmentations together to have an added value. So in this case, not only you're totally invincible, but people cannot hear you at all. So you're the perfect stealth agent. Takedowns are back, lethal or non-lethal as always, but this time around now you can perform them from cover. We avoided the main entry point to get to our friends, so there's the delivery entrance here, but the door is locked. We're going to look for another option to get in. It seems that we have a, an opening on the roof. And what is important is that when you get to a location like Color Time Machine, there are always more than one way to get inside. Looking at your environment is really key for your success. Now we're using the Tesla gun arm, which is a new augmentation that Adam Jensen has, that allows us to take down enemies non-lethally. And when you fully upgrade this augmentation, you can take out up to four enemies at once. It can be really interesting, especially if you're a non-lethal fighter. I love cats.
Here the stun gun, as you're going to see it has a similar effect as the Tesla gun arm, but it shoots one single bullet at once and you have to be at very close range to hit your target. So depending on your gameplay style, you might want to invest in the gun arm or you might want to keep those praxis points for other augmentations and rely on the stun gun. So it's really up to the players to really craft the engines that they want. Here we could have gone through that bookshelf that is on the side and we could have climbed up to the second floor. But for today's presentation, we're going to take a different path. We just used the silenced pistol, which can be very deadly and very quiet. Here's another gun arm, the nanoblade gun arm. It allows you to throw the nanoblades and you can kill very quickly and without too much noise enemies. And also you can have an upgrade that allows you to really charge the nanoblade and once you shoot it, it's going to explode after a few seconds and you can take down several enemies at once because it has a 360 effect. We're getting closer to our objective. And now we just use a toxic gas grenade. And everybody in the radius of the grenade is going to be affected. This guy has been lucky until now. Fortunately for this demo, Adam Jensen had the augmentation that protects you against it, otherwise you would have suffered from the same consequences as our Devali friends. Now we're in Kohler's office. Apparently the mobsters looked around, but they didn't find the secret spot to find Kohler. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Earlier on, I was talking about readables in the universe, and here we have another example, newspapers. There are different stories that you can discover, and some of those stories can be influenced by what you achieve yourself. In some side missions, or even on the critical path. Here, our De Valley friends forgot to look at this weird red book. It seems that Kohler loves augmentations quite a bit. Here's Kohler's lab. And I was talking about exploration earlier. There are always secrets to find, and here you have another example. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nothing I couldn't handle. The footage speaks for itself. The game looks sweet, and I'm really looking forward to it. The live stream finally concluded with footage of an initiative by Eidos Montreal to bring Dell's X inspired augmentations to life to help out those in need of prosthetic limbs. You can check out that footage on the Dell's X official YouTube channel if you're interested. And that pretty much sums up the entire live stream. So with that, I would like to conclude this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about all the new reveals and footage. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.